works. And another thing that is that is different, uh, I find in Japan, is that um, in the Netherlands, um, the penalty is based on the crime. We are we tend to look at the criminal. So if the criminal committed a certain crime, uh, then uh, the, the punishment is based on the crime. So if if it's a heavy crime then um, the, the, the punishment is, is heavy. If it's, if it's a minor crime, the, the penalty is minor. Well, how is it different from Japan? Uh, for example, in Japan they have, mu they have much more focus on the victim. Uh, so the punishment is based on the uh, damage caused to the victim. A point in case, an example is, I remember there was a young guy who had two drinks in somewhere in Fukuoka or something? I believe in, in I believe it was Fukuoka, but it could be somewhere else. He had two drinks. He got into the his car, and he was racing back home. I, I don't I don't know whether he kept the speed limit, but it could be that he also drove too fast. Anyway, he he drank two glasses of beer. He hit a car. With the family inside, two kids. Because of this accident, the car got off the bridge, fell into the river, and the two children died. The parents were saved. The guy who caused the accident was was convicted to I don't know how many years in prison um, because of the damages that he caused. In the Netherlands, I'm sure that the the penalty would have been much more lenient because they would look at the crime. So how criminal is it to drink two glasses of beer and get into the car? They would say, okay, the fact that he actually, as a result of his, his doing, he killed two people was basically bad luck. His crime was not so heavy. Of course, he should not have, he should not drink and drive. He will get the maximum penalty for that, but not for the murder because there was no intent not for murder as happened in Japan there was no intent to kill not at all he was just stupid he drank and he went he he, uh, he killed uh, as, as as a result of that uh, he caused an accident which as a result of that caused two children to die hmm. in Japan the, uh, the, the penalty was very heavy focused on getting compensate or anyway more or less. You I mean the whole and America more heavier? No, in the Netherlands it, he would get much lean, much more lenient. Uh, lenient uh, sentence, yeah. Japan is heavier. Heavy, very heavy. Why Japan is heavy? Well, I d I don't know because in Japan I can only think that they to take the side they look at the the, the emphasizing on morale. They emphasize on morale. So because because the he, because of why, what why, he did, why Netherlands is more right? I'm not saying he's more right, but basically Maybe. he's saying if we are judging somebody guilty or not guilty, there has to be intent. The guy. Oh, intent. Right. Mm. So mm. he can never be be convicted of murder. Uh, he, uh, and basically, uh, drinking two glasses of alcohol normally doesn't cause somebody to drive intoxicated. Two glasses of alcohol will, in the Netherlands it's even allowed legally, but in Japan it's not allowed. So, so let's say that in, in the Netherlands, if he would have drank, drank three oh, or legally? four glasses. Yeah, legally you can drive with two, uh, up to two glasses of alcohol. Up to, up to the two glasses. So it's, it's, it's illegal. In, but, uh, everywhere, almost beer everywhere. Beer is a light alcohol, but uh, one is not a right for alcohol. Hmm. So I think to compare these cases, what would happen in the Netherlands if, if uh, let, let's say that, that it, it would happen in the Netherlands that he would have to drink like four glasses of alcohol. That is uh, mm -hmm. clearly mm -hmm. above the, the, the alcohol limit. And then this accident uh. would happen. But then he would be convicted of driving, uh, drinking and driving. Mm -hmm. And uh, But the, the, the fact that, that, that this act caused somebody to, to die is basically not so much relevant uh, in the in the sentence of the court, in Japan it's different. They look at the victims and then they decide the penalty. So there is more 
to answer your question, I believe that is more based on morality than on uh, on a, the, the letter of the law. Uh, any lawyer in the Netherlands would appeal this victim. If it would have been uh, a death sentence, any lawyer would appeal. Say, That's ridiculous. There is there that this is uh, this is excessive because there was no intent. Mm. But this this uh, ruling was up upheld and not appealed. Mm. And I don't know. In to which extent, uh, of course, uh, I don't know enough enou about this case uh, to to uh, to say anything about whether whether or not the the driver in this case uh, didn't want to appeal. Because if you don't want to appeal, if you if you feel so guilty that you want to want to to serve your prison term, okay, that, that's fine. Mm. Two glasses of beer is allowed to drink. In the Netherlands, it's allowed. America, it's the same. Yes. Mm. But in the sun, uh, there's a pe uh, person who could is, is a uh, no problem to cause a drinking. Right. And there's uh, other people who couldn't you know, do have a drink. No, no that, that's true. So officially, it's not two glasses of alcohol. Basically, if you are caught with a Promilage, as we say it, as, mm. a, as a, with a, with they take a test. Um. They test, and you should have a promilage because for for me, mm. I can probably drink three mm. or four glasses <laughs> without problem. Ah, uh, there is a regulation. <laughs> so that's that's basically the percentage of alcohol in your uh, blood uh. will uh, de determine whether or not you can drink or drive. Uh, 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 so for some people who are very weak. Mm. Two glasses yeah. is uh, is is allowed, mm -hmm. but uh, mm -hmm. for for people who are stronger or are bigger, yeah, 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 yeah. they uh, they can drink a little bit more. Mm -hmm. But of course, they are very severe on the if they catch you drinking and driving, mm -hmm. the penalties are very severe. Yeah. But that's the same everywhere, I think, mm -hmm. in Japan. So, and in uh, what what you want to say about truth, Japan Japanese truth? So what you are saying about truth. I believe that, uh, uh, okay, I'm now re responding to uh, what you were asking about, uh, about justice and truth. And uh, I think that Japan is less based on legal truth, but more on moral truth. That's why uh, legal uh, le legal uh, contracts are much thinner in Japan. Uh, that's why uh, scope definitions mm -hmm. and things like that are much thinner, much mm -hmm. less specified uh, than in, for example, in the United States and in Europe, because basically in Europe and in the United States we want to cover our asses mm. we want to make sure that that everything uh, is specified and agreed upon because if there is a problem later we can turn to the law we can turn to a, another institution say it's here it's written down so we are not going to pay for this you will need to pay for this or it's not in scope of the contract so what happens very often this is legally true, but morally unjust. It's, 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 uh, from my experience working in the, an example, in the IT industry, very often our salespeople would talk to the client, and the client, of course, they want to, they have a limited budget. So what they, what they want is they want to have a solution uh, at a fixed cost, right? So, Based on what they need, they are going to reduce the scope. They're going to take things out of scope. So it's okay. Well, we got, if 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 you want, if you want, if you have this budget, we can do it. We just take this out, this out, this out. And based on that scope, we're going to implement. But of course, we already know, as suppliers, as experts in this software, that this is not going to be enough for them to get return on investment. So basically, we are going to offer them a solution that is not big enough for them. If we were 
just. Mm. If we were morally right, we would tell them, sorry, but for what you want, mm. you will need a bigger budget, or you better not do it. No, mm -hmm. we will not do that. We will make a very clear mm. scope definition. We will basically make them happy and say, oh, you can have our software. It's wonderful, it can do this, that, and the other. But we already know that it's not going to be enough for them. Mm -hmm. But according to the law, according to legal, we have every right to do that. We can sell it to them. We are not morally right, but we are legally right, and therefore we will always, always win in court. It's a very common practice in, uh, mm -hmm. in Europe. I don't understand what you mean. I mean that um, in Japan, there is no, there is not much specification. There is no, not much um, defined when you start working as a supplier for a customer. Customer supplier relationship is a trust relationship. That means that um, you don't have to be s that specific because you know that as you go along, uh, th th requirements will change. And uh, you will know that you will uncover certain needs that will need to be met that are not clear at the onset. Mm. They, uh, we are talking right now, but we have not talked in detail with people of purchasing department. And we might uncover that the purchasing department has specific